Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to achieve depth of field, so like a shallow focus, within Blender. Alright, now this is the version of Blender I'm using, 2.62, and uh, it is, you need to make sure that your version of Blender is enabled with Cycles, because we're going to be using Cycles Render to get depth of field. Now, in previous versions with Blender Render, uh, you still can get a depth of field but uh, it's a little more complicated. You have to work within the compositor and tweak a few other things. So it's it it's not impossible, but it's just a little more complicated. And so definitely make sure that you have cycles installed. And um, yeah, so we'll get right into it. So uh, just click on cycles right now. So I'm in it right now. And uh, I'm in camera view right now. And I want this teacup right here that's closest to the camera lens, I want that one to be in focus and I want the other four to be out of focus. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select my camera right here and you can see it's yellow now that I've selected it. And then I'm going to go onto this tab right here and select my camera tab. All right. And then down here on this little drop down that says depth of field, you can see we have all of our options down here. So we have focus, distance, aperture, blades, rotation, and we'll be using all of that to create a depth of field. Now before we do that, the camera needs to know what we want uh, in focus and, we will, and uh, what we want out of focus. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on this teacup right here that is that we want to be in focus. And then we're going to scroll down to our um, on our uh, layers menu right here and we can see what it's called. It's called teacup number one. I've named it, which you can do just uh, within here. So I just named it teacup number one. So we are going to then click on our camera, go to the camera tab again, go to depth of field, and then where it says focus, you want to click on that, and you want to look for your object. So there's all these different objects that I have in this scene right now, but I want teacup number one. And so once I click that, then the camera now knows that's what uh, we want to be in focus, all right? Now with the aperture, um, kind of the way I approached Aperture within Blender when I first started using it is I thought it would work like a DSLR. So I thought, okay, so I'll put like 5.00, you know, something like that. And then I'll go into rendered view and we'll see what it looks like. You'll just take a second here. So I'll show you what it looks like if we put in something like that. And so as you can see, everything is completely blurred and we can't see a single thing. We can kind of make out this one, uh, teacup right here, but even then it's not really visible at all. And that's because the aperture uh, within Blender is a little different than it is on cameras. Uh, so instead of 5.00, we are going to go 0.10. All right? And now we see what that does for us. All right, so much better. The results look a lot better. I'm just going to turn this up a little so the grain goes away a little bit. But as you can see, everything looks a lot nicer. We could even go down to maybe, uh, maybe to 9 or something to... Um, 0 point, uh, you know, 0 0.9 or something that might even be good but right now it looks pretty good these three I mean these four uh, teacups are out of focus and this one teacup is in focus and that's what we want so anyway guys that's uh, pretty much just a, a brief tutorial showing you guys how to use uh, the depth of field within blender cycles engine so I uh, hope this tutorial helped and I'll see you guys later bye